Hey everyone, decided I would finally put together that loft tour for you guys. I know you've been curious to see my place and I finally have it situated, so here we go. Coming in the door, Carly is greeting us. You can see kind of an overview. And then to the right is a closet. This is where I have my card tree. I put all the different cards I get from all my crafty friends. I love fun mail and my nephews, fun art. And then over here, we have my bathroom. I love it actually because there is no tub. Um, I guess I should turn the light on, it's a little dark. There's no tub, so it's kind of like a spa shower. That's what I tell myself anyways. Storage unit right here from Ikea. This works awesome. And since I live in a loft of boys, this toilet seat is always up because we're still potty training Mr. Harley. There'll be a blog post about that at some point. So that's the bathroom. And then coming out of the bathroom, there's a little hallway here. Um, I've hung all my J's. Some of them I've repainted to just fit the color scheme here. And then I have another double wide closet. This actually has a washer dryer hookup behind there, but I'm just using it more for storage right now. My ribbon holders. These are, I think they're Martha Stewart. I got them, uh, gosh, like eight years ago. So I don't know if they're available anymore. And then I have all kinds of my mini books, things like that to decorate, and then some of my Tim Holtz dies. I have my 12 by 12 paper trays, and then my eight and a half by 11 paper, which is pretty much just white cream craft, and then all of the memory box, distress dot and kitchen dot type papers that I love and use in my classes a lot the ribbons and then this is kind of the bedroom area the dressers are all Ikea that I had at the island and they fit in here really really well this bookcase here I'm gonna swap out with something new when I find something that I like you can see Mr. Harley's new iMac bed that Elena got for him He's still not quite sure what to think about it. He'd much rather sleep on the squished box on the dresser. It's one of his favorite spots. And then my teal wall that you guys kind of saw glimpses of. I'm wicked happy of how the color came out. Chris did most of this painting and it came out awesome. And I'm happy I can still use my lamps that I got from Target. I have over here my canvas about Watcher. My Tori Amos quote that Melissa did for me. And then one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh quotes that Adele from Cardvark gave me when I left there. A closet that has my clothes in it. You don't need to see that because that's going to be a mess. Then this double closet has ended up being my craft closet. Pretty much everything that fit in the closet on the island fits in here. All the shoebox plastic totes are labeled, so everything's pretty organized. Then I have my stackable pattern paper um, holders for 12 by 12 paper. And then the big bins um, hold my Marvy punches, which I actually still use. I love those nesting Marvy punches. I have like all my melting pot supplies, my ridiculous amount of thickers and adhesives. I'll probably go into how I organize stuff a little bit better in another video, but I don't want to bore the non-crafty people that are watching this. This um, thing that I'm wheeling, this is the Clip It Up that I love and then one of the best shelf um, organizing tools and what I do is I end up wheeling this over to my studio table when I'm working. It holds all my stickles, 
all the different ink pads I might need. And then I also keep pattern paper scraps and solid color scraps. So it's really useful to have everything right next to me when I'm creating my class samples and things for my blog. Then over here I have the Ikea Expedit shelf that everybody has. Um, this has worked out really well. I ended up putting the drawers and the doors in it to kind of declutter it and be able to tuck some more stuff away. My friend Sharon had showed me these bins are from um, Target. They're the small Itzo bins. These fit the Avery L plastic sleeves really well that Jennifer McGuire was showing how she organizes her stamps. So I've done that for all of my clear and cling stamps. I just need to go through. I still need to um, add dividers to organize them. But they're broken up by company right now. And then the larger cling sets from Hero Arts, I'm using um, these plastic containers from Stampendous, the really skinny ones. So that works out really well. These containers that I hold my note cards in, those are from Ikea. Pretty sure I got this idea from Sharon as well. So I kind of just put them all out and I can keep track of what colors I need for my classes. Um, and then in the drawers, I keep like my alphabet stamps. Um, I have my buckets of glitter and things that I use in classes. And then some more little bottled things and my reinkers or ink pads, things like that. So the only thing about the doors that I'm not happy with is once you have those on, the, your scrapbook albums don't fit in there. They're a little bit too small, but I'll figure, you know, it works for me right now. Over here, I just have a couple buckets that I keep my canvases in, either ones I'm working on or ones that are already listed um, on Etsy. So, kind of, it's nice to just be able to see what I have for inventory. And then, this is my studio table area. The stamp shelf on the right is one that I already had at the island. Um, I just painted it white and Chris built the one on the left for me with bigger openings so I could put my taller stamps in it. Um, the one on the right was originally built back when I had all my little Amuse stamps so the shelving was really close together. It works really good for all my words and, and most of my wooden stamps but it's nice to have um, their larger opening one as well. So then we have my studio table right here. This is just an old kitchen table that I got at a yard sale a bunch of years ago. Um, and I got one of the wheeling totes that everybody was showing um, from Ikea. It's kind of, I have all my paints and spray inks and gessos and brushes. So that's working out nicely. And then I got this cart as well from Ikea. I haven't really organized it exactly how I want it, but it has like my washi tape um, and some journals, things like that. My Copics are still in these holders. I'm not sure if this is how it's gonna stay. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I have my big shot behind here. I end up plugging this in on the kitchen island and using it when I'm kidding. It's just easier. Mr. Harley's box and my studio table, which never looks this clean. This little um, LED light was from Ikea. It was only like $14, but it's perfect um, to just shine a little bit of light on my table when I'm working at night. Stamp shelves again. And then I got the smaller Expedit bookshelf. I needed a bookshelf and it was just easier to pick this because it matched. Here I'm keeping all my scrapbook albums for the first time I'm really excited they're no longer sitting on the floor they actually fit in a bookcase and I have all of my crafty magazines in here these holders are from Ikea and then all my fun little samples that I've made throughout the years 
you know, whether in a class I took or a class I taught, my favorite ones. Um, a couple, my very first A Week in the Life album I did with Ali Edwards on the right there at CKUA a million years ago. Typewriter, one of my customers gifted to me. It doesn't work, but it looks really cool. So my old couch just covered. I need to still get a new one. Vicki made me this awesome quilt. It's all nautical and it happened to match my cover I already got. And then we have the kitchen area. Here we have the chalkboard wall. Most of you guys have seen. Chris built the um, gallery shelving that's on the top there. Some of my chosen family girls were doing that and I kind of asked them about it and it seemed simple and not super expensive. So that those two things made it definitely the choice to go. The stuff that's up there, I'm not sure what I'm gonna keep up there or switch out, but um, again, it's working for now. I haven't done a ton of decorating. And then this is my kitchen area. I love the island space. It's nice when I have people over, we kind of all just hang out there. It also works out really well when I'm kidding for classes. The pantry space up top, that's Mr. Harley's favorite place to sleep. And yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this loft tour and let me know if you have any questions.